together today as I share with you a message here on Dollar Prayer. If you are a new caller, welcome. If you are a regular caller, God bless you for calling and being so faithful. This is the month that so many things kind of wind down and at the same time wrap up. Winding down means that we think in terms of the end of the year. And what goes on in the end of the year? Of course, it's a challenge to face the new year. At the same time, it is a finishing up. It is an accounting. And here at Dollar Prayer, we we do that. We have a letter that we will be sending out for the new year, and along with that, an accounting of your gifts. Thank you so much for all of that. I want to share today an experience I had recently. And it had to do with a person of unusual strength. The person demonstrated that strength with lifting unbelievable weights and doing things that by far exceeded what we would call normal. I've often wondered where such strength comes from. I know in myself I don't have it. There are some things I can do. But it is not always the physical strength with muscle. Sometimes it's simply a matter of attitude that does it. Many of you who called out a prayer are strong, and you demonstrate that strength every day. You face the world. You try to do your best. You help others. You call attention to things that are needed. That strength It goes beyond us, really. Physically, we can run out of energy. And oftentimes happens. Sometimes it happens because we are exhausted physically, other times mentally, and too often spiritually. But today, let me share with you, because I believe in this season, as we think of the coming of Jesus Christ to the world, it is a source of renewed strength. People love this season. And it says in Psalm 18, verse 2, The Lord is my rock and my fortress, my deliverer, my God, my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation, and my high tower. The only way we can really get the strength we need to meet the needs of life. And uh, they include everything. Helping other people, meeting the requirements of your own life, and I think even building yourself so that you can be stronger for tomorrow. But it's to realize that there's a force outside of you. It's not within you, but outside of you. And the psalmist discovered that by saying, The Lord is my rock and my fortress. He is my strength. Friends, may you find that strength in your life today. Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you for the blessings and the answers to prayer. Thank you for Rainey's recovery. Thank you for others who have asked for prayer and are struggling. But we ask now, Lord, for that special grace to help people through their difficult moment. In Christ our Lord. Amen. God bless you. God love you. Please feel free always to call and leave a message if you would like by dialing 2 at the conclusion of any message.